Hummingbird family, let's do a work your light. Okay. Wow, you guys. Okay, this one came out. Star mother. How can you mother yourself? Wow, what a beautiful card. And then we have this one, you guys. Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Set, seeding the light, laying foundations, and divine plan. Wow. <laughs> Lots of divine feminine energy here, okay? For some of you, we are very, very protected. It's really interesting because right when I was, I was about to do this reading, I, uh, I had a, a phone call come in and I, I shared with a friend, my grandmother didn't do X and Y, so I could struggle with X and Y, right? And so we were laughing. And, and the point is that for many of you, you have ancestral motherly energy around you, okay? If you are from the um, Christian religion, you could also incorporate the divine, um, the, the Jesus consciousness, right? Which is a very healing energy. It is um, an energy uh, when you think of his mother, it was a very, uh, um, she, she sacrificed a lot. She did a lot right for that energy to manifest and and share examples here on earth and i'm being called you see this person sometimes you don't see the magnitude of how protected you are but you are <laughs> you are very protected there's a divine plan for you and I'm getting strong energy of ancestral, ancestral, and then, and then I'm, and then I notice the pyramids in the back. So there's a bit of Egypt coming through. There's a lot of ancient wisdom and knowledge that it feels very healing to me. Okay, around you. So you are being called as well to remind yourself, where can you be your own mother? So for some of you, you may have had a loss of a mother or you may not have a good relationship with your mother and know that these are lessons that brought you where you are today but you have a lot of motherly uh, energy on the other side that's making up for what you missed here on earth, okay? Yeah, this is such a beautiful, I'm getting so much beauty and self-care and new beginnings and I'm almost getting a like a new beginning, a, a pregnancy for some of you. Um, just, I feel speechless. <laughs> I have to be honest. I, I feel so much love in this reading that I can't come up with the words, you guys. It, that's how powerful it is. And um, I don't know, today have, I've been called to different decks I, uh, and I felt a very strong energy uh, here with mother and grandmother. For some of you, it's your star family. For some of you, it's ancestral. Just, there's a divine plan for you. Don't doubt it. Take care of yourself, heal because what you're not releasing is will keep you from seeing this beautiful energy around you. And for those of you who did not have a good relationship with your mother, I am really uh, feeling that strongly. I'm 
called to tell you that she too was in pain and she too was learning okay not everybody goes through the process of healing while they're here on earth and um, sometimes we have to pick up the slack of those people that came before us and we have to do a little bit of extra work with those wounds with those family wounds okay but know that their soul or in in not in the physical but on a spiritual level on a soulful level their soul um before it was you know in this darkness or whatever i do see for many of you 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 had very rough um childhoods with your mom and um know that on a spiritual level their higher self does love you uh very very much okay they just didn't have the tools to be able to play that out when when they were here if they have passed on or or now okay they if they're here they just don't have the tools to do that so you're gonna have to find where you can be your own mother and where you can self-care and begin to release the need for her um approval or whatever it is that's coming up because i do feel such a powerful motherly i feel so much love in this reading it almost overwhelmed me okay so please know that and i hope this reading was helpful and i will see you in the next one bye guys